Hi, welcome. This video is here for me to have fun. I have a super weekend vibe and I had a what if, what if in my head. I said, what if I go back in time? So maybe, well, not, not everybody, surely not everybody will know what the past is and frankly, you don't care. But sometimes it's good to look back in time and to ask yourself, how this, did this Arclonic start and who are they and what's the roots and all that. So before Arclonic exists, before Arch Merch exists, there was Arch Labs. So at some point in time, we developed here a system that was based on open box. And at some point in time, I asked if i3 could be included and we got Arch Labs i3 as well. And we have this beautiful open box system with the SAPD icons and um, yeah, everything was just fine. So at some point in time, there was, um, well, a start. So March 14 was the official date. It seems that I was uh, officially recognized as a team member on the Arch Labs Linux team back then. And we, we started developing. Well, at some point in time, they said to me, okay, let's, let's build ISOs. Uh, Eric, you, you should do that. And everything started with, with again, Calamares, the installer, and um, where I was looking for something else, these guys. So at that day already, I was um, trying to figure out how do I make an ISO? So this says April the 14th, maybe that's correct, I don't know. So all these versions from it's always the same date so i suppose it's a copy paste at some point in time but all these versions all these uh, arch labs isos have been built and the very last one is here so this what if in my head was do i still have arch labs 5.0 so the version that we were looking at here so this guy r2d2 gave us a little bit of an uh, emotional uh, well, uh, ISO at that point in time, it was really rocking. It was open box, it was i3, it was a nice setup. Okay, we had to delete, of course, this um, R2D2 and we moved on to Arch Merge and Arch Linux later on. But I had this idea, do I have still, do I have still this ISO? Because you can't find it online. So. I had to look in here and I have built quite a few. Oh, the dates are correct in these guys. 3, 8, 4, 15, 16, 17, 23 and so on. So June 27, July. So the last probably is this one or that one. I don't know why it's called pre ISO. But this seems to be the last one. So what I want to do is to learn from it. That's from my, my perspective as well, also nostalgic. This, that's the last one I've built. And I want to put it in virtual box, see how it looks, and also prove to you guys that when you're building on Arch Linux, we, we have now this information about Antergos dying. Well, it doesn't really matter. It Of course it matters, but I mean, the, the repos will not be there anymore in some in, in, the, in the near future the uh, the antergos repos won't be there but we have made already a video how to move your system your antergos system and point it into the direction of the arch linux repos and that's that and you have still an arch linux system that works it's the same here the same with um arch linux and if we would stop at some point in time, the only thing you have to do is delete Arch Linux repos. Of course, there will be no more development, no more conkeys, etc., no more support, but it's still Arch Linux. It will still work. So I want to prove that a ISO of 2017, July, still is workable. And I suppose we're going to have lots of issues. We're going to have to solve and think about lots of stuff. But it's weekend and this is what I like to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's if in my head? So, virtual box, where are you? Super F7. 
I have a template ready. I'm gonna clone you. Arch Labs 5.0 or emotionally dubbed R2D2. Next clone. So this guy is going to, let's have a look. Optical drive, choose disk image. Oh my God, it's gonna be somewhere in my external hard disk. So this is an external hard drive, run media Eric. So run media, where are you, Eric? And there we are. So Arch Labs ISO builds all the way down. That's the very, very first one, and this is the one. All right, let's boot it up. Let's enjoy this moment of nostalgia. Control F, maximizing. I always loved the logo. It's a beautiful logo, not designed by my by me, uh, but it's it's. Uh, we did not get the SVG. I remember it's a PNG, so we can't change anything really in a PNG. But it's beautiful when it's boots up already and then we used our Calamaris uh, installer well a version of two years and a half back of course right so probably not that advanced and it's good to see two years back more or less two and a half years back what changed Alright, remember those beautiful logos here, the golden uh, logo that is um, like a medallion or something, something. And, and the look of course here of the Arch Labs installer, which is Calamari's installer. And let's um, install it. So the language is good. Let's quickly have a look. Oh yeah, the about. 3.1.1. Where are we now these days? 3.2.9? I think so. So, okay, an older Calamaris. Next, doesn't know where I live. So I'm gonna tell him, here I live. If we leave everything in the United States, that's okay. And I do need my Belgian keyboard. Next, next, next. Erase the disk. We could encrypt the system, not gonna do it. Slows down the system. If it at all works, because I really don't recall. So Arch Labs, R2, D2. And we had said it's uh, officially login automatically. So we can actually say somewhere that you can have it like this standard or that you have it like this standard. So we've said it uh, like this as a standard option in Calamaris and everything is going to launch. And that's that, fine. So we had, we had all these, these things, these text and images popping up back then, but I stopped with it. You see why uh, at that point in time anyway, with uh, the knowledge I had back then, I did not know how to centralize it or make it bigger. And, and in the end, the things you want to say in this screen, well, uh, it can't contain anything I'd like to say. So then we had got this Arculinux hello which just points to a website and on a website, everything, everything can be checked and rechecked and Google will find it and so on. So it's a more precious way to, to gather information, to, to um, divulge or distribute information better than in this thing. And also better than in the other thing, that's this, this little guy. So at some point in time, we are asked the Manjaro guys, hey Manjaro guys, could we uh, use your um, oh, well, I think it's called hello as well. Uh, Manjaro hello, I think, I don't know. Maybe we can still see it. Credits maybe. So the Manjaro credits, translated. Yep. And we adapted it actually to what we wanted to have. But again here, although it's fun to, to learn stuff, how to make this, this thing. So I, we developed it, I developed it, we developed it. And it's still 
gives you lots of issues like simple I want to have operating system in bold and it would be lots of things complicated to, to do that and, and not in bold so then okay and then how about an, an list and a numbered list and, and, and with dots etc well it's not easy it's not intuitive so again um, scrap this and said okay get rid of it we'll say everything on our WordPress website all right now the loading of this thing was obviously not successful in the sense that this thing should be right here and the logo should just be for one big uh, logo mm, not sure if I can actually show you if we can now the people who have open box will immediately see resemblance that uh, of the menus here um, we have this OB menu generator does does that that makes these elements in here not always not always Eric not always but there are the pipe menus you recognize things have changed around other names and we have this arch labs hello thing so that's this and then help in the resources and the lock screen okay almost finished strange right a nice of two years and a half back it just installs fun let's have some fun restart and quits now maybe Control F will probably have to reboot all the time so I'm gonna power off I'm gonna get rid of my ISO so let's boot straight up in our grub and see what's gonna happen <laughs> I'm curious to see version 233 remember okay we'll probably need to update I think launch at start so that's off when I do it like this it will come again so that's good that's the last time time you'll see it and it's gone in the meantime this is how it should look this is your wallpaper that's a beautiful logo again not made by me beautiful logo if anybody has um, the ability to make something similar for Arclinix much much appreciated do still love the look of this um, wallpaper and then the logo so some information 336 memory and it's very low you're right and we have all the possibilities again helping people out with the shortcut keys so Arch Labs 500 R2 D2 we have here PAMAC telling who oh, there is something to do and it's a total of 1.2 gigabyte mm -hmm. I'm amazed that it's not that uh, big in my eyes but maybe others will say whoa but for me that's still okay um, now I'm not gonna do it with PAMAC because I really want to see what's going on all right now another thing that I want to do first is log out and see how i3 looks <laughs> Oh, and the login, right, forgot all about the login. So this is how it looked back then. i3 is set already. And okay, let's go and have a look. The guys from Arclinux will probably recognize uh, some of the looks, obviously. Same developer, get out of here, get out of here. So one, two, eight, eight is already loaded some, some of the um, applications were loaded already so you get good good hang of things you could use uh, well you're not in a black screen you have already something you can have a look around create folders and so on we had this special kind of icon theme which we still have it's a possibility you can still do Control alt m is available so all the keyboard shortcuts were already uh, tested out and when and we kept it in arch merge and arc linux um keyboard shortcuts that's what i was thinking no i was thinking something else oh yeah so the appearance you see here the bunsen dark helium we had already all the art crimson uh, elements because of my script i have so the um, you can color it any way you want and it's all based on the arc theme back then from horse 3180 now it's not um thinking of the name of the new developer uh but i'll We'll soon find it out when we are 
further down the video. So Sardi Mono Arch Labs is the name. And of course, things have changed as well. And Sardi Arc is, is what's now a standard in Arc Linux. And Sardi Mono was of used to be it, but I think Sardi Mono Coloro, that's the one that used to be it. And um, that's great. So things look similar, are not 100% similar, but it's more or less the same. Beautiful logo is back there. Um, NeoFetch is already used, so NeoFetch, that's the thing we see, that's that. And uh, it's time to update, right? Doesn't really matter if we are on, XF and on OpenBox, so there's no XFCE, right? That's something that's important maybe. So I'm pressing Super X. We have these text down here, which is, uh, well, if you didn't notice something changed, it's not yellow or something, uh, you should really, um, well, see it. So just showing again, testing again, is R2D2 was just, well, open box at first, and then i3 came along. And the idea in Arch Merge was, what if we put XFCE to it? Then we have XFCE, very similar uh, system that people would recognize uh, coming from Windows is okay, we have a menu and we have an, a pop-up and we can have uh, something similar. Openbox is already a jump further and i3 is still further, it's a tiling window manager. So I'm gonna stay in i3 and I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna update and see that we can go all the way. I'm curious to see if we can go all the way to an up-to-date system, so an Arch Linux system. Remember the, the goal, well, nostalgia is one thing, um, but also, well, stay rolling, basically. We have this old system of two year and a half back, and we're gonna update it, and you'll see Arch Linux is just awesome. All right. What things up at page? Yeah, right, all right, why not? Does this still work? Yeah, back in the days we had already the command update, meaning control T and have an alias somewhere, right? Let's have a look at the aliases. Not that much, much yet. So yes, I've kept of course the same aliases, but I see already differences. There's Pakaur back in those days and Yaourt, remember Yaourt and Packer in all those days. So yeah, we have work to do, but never mind. So update was there. It's pseudo Pacman minus SYU. Fine. Super Shift Q works. He wants me to replace something. I say yes, 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 I say yes. Gnome team time of is changed. Okay, yes. Oops, that's two yeses. Yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. And Packer. Packer is newer than community. Okay. Packer is out. Yay and Trizen are in. So lots of changes. Obviously, in all those years, we are going to, well, don't have to type yes, I can just press enter. And then it's going to could not satisfy dependencies. Now the challenges start. So he wants to install something, lib vpx breaks lib of uh, dependencies. Removing lib breaks and installing breaks dependency. Removing breaks dependency. So we're actually, um, this, well, where's my bunch of things? We don't see it the pacman minus s let's do first this one and get all the data back in all right so enter 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 okay so we're sure that we can't do anything there so let's have a look pseudo pacman minus remove let's remove something And we'll see later what's going to happen. Okay. I get lots of stuff. Um, why do I do this? 
All right, it's going to be a challenge. This MPEG thing. We can't remove that. Breaks dependency. Two point eight. Ooh, too much. Back at the top. Lip, 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 lip. What was the problem? Lip X two six four. That guy. What will happen if we do all this? Could not satisfy dependencies. This is going to be more challenging than I thought, just by the problem with the updating. So, what if, what if, I'm going to take a look from another angle, lip32. Search is not possible. Refresh databases that will still work. Not sure how to proceed now, but that's the fun. You'll just skip ahead in the video. Hmm. Hopla, let's go all the way down. That guy. Could not satisfy uh, the FMM page. FFM page. If that guy is out. Uh, two six five, two six four. Okay. Pseudo back on minus R. Does not exist. Ah. I should be able to remove it. So I'm gonna go for Kicking it out, kicking it out, Mum, Pacman. How do I kick something out? Delete. Upgrade, query, sync, remove, remove. Recursively unneeded. That's probably not in here, it's probably on the website. Oh, ah, there you are. 
on the wrong page. Thank you very much. Go to here. Now we're probably, yeah, back in those days, we fixed it to come up in uh, one page. So what I want to do is Pacman remove, Pacman arch wiki, control find remove. So minus R minus R S warning. Um, can break a system should be avoided. Avoid certain Pacman commands. So this guy. RDD. That's what that's what we should forget after this video. Don't do that. So this one goes out, that one goes out, quit. So pseudo Pacman minus DD something. I'm gonna remove the things that are blocking me. Not sure if that was the guy. I thought it was 264. Or FM Pech, not guy that blocks me. And another buyer that blocks me was 2.8. I will have videos later on. Alright, update this. Let's have a look. Oops, too much. Um, we still have the font sproto or something. Lipx font remover. This breaks. Okay, fine. Pseudo backman minus r dd lipix font exists okay you're out Woo. we're off it was a little bit of a search something we don't do those things well we're not that invasive in our machines we don't do normally rdd just remember what we did fmpeg things and x265 things so play video um, playback and all that that's what we did basically well this can install it later on i'm not worried why i'm not worried because um well let's first see if it's still working fine um can I do this? Oh, I can, super. So I just moved this thing to workspace four. I'm gonna go to super one now and Firefox. I can always get to scripts. Arco Linux, GitHub, um, basically. We have the Arco Linux D GitHub. And if I want to have videos and sound and, and things like that install sound it says here what to do pulse audio etc also utilities g streamer all the g plugins to uh, stuff and uh, and so on and s dependencies will get probably fmpeg in and so on and so on so we have do not have to worry for that but never, never mind so remember it remember write down when you do stuff like this if it's important this is just for fun right I really don't care if things will not work anymore. But like I said, it's just a way of launching scripts afterwards uh, is here. Now, maybe we can say something already. You see this nice shading and fading and stuff like that. At some point in time, we had it and we still had it in Arch Merge. The only result is that it's slower. It, it's You have to wait till the image is there you have to wait it's beautiful i, I see this and i say oh we should have have it back but i <laughs> the reason for it to be that it's gone is because of the fact that it slows down your machine so control h what did we do what what is it config i3 and we have here this uh the config of i3 so the heart of the the desktop environment i3 and we have content and some of our desktops have Compton and you can set in Compton let's open it up and it's going to workspace 2 it's all at that point in time it was all set specifically editors go to 2 Firefox goes to 1 3 is Inkscape 4 is GIMP 5 is melt in all images 6 is VLC 7 is 
work uh, virtual box eight is five managers like two nor nine is male and ten is spotify so that's that's kind of a, of or music players right so that's the the idea back then it still is but it's not focused anymore it's not going explicitly to workspace too you can open it also any any, any other workspace so we're talking about this this fading thing nice right easy you can have it as well it's just a question of looking for fade fading true fading false right and it's false and mm, can i reload in this environment can i say reload content or something i wonder Ah, there are some key issues. Okay, first the key issues. Very important. Things, packages that you get in are signed. Signed by people and see people have a key. You don't have the key. So, sudo pacman minus s. Get the key. Arch something. Remember just arch. And then just tap your, press your tap twice. Ah, yeah, right. Key ring. That was it. Arch links key ring. And all the new stuff comes in, the old stuff goes out, disabling key, disabling key, and I have to do it again. Again, an update. The new keys are in, again, enter, 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 enter. Whoa, five gigabytes. And actually, it's just one gigabyte of net upgrade size, so that's not much, but yeah, we're talking about two and a half years, huh? So, checking keys and keyring, that's a good. Point. I'm gonna wait till he installs and then come back to our fading. Quite a bit of packages, right? 1003 packages to check out. And of course, there are no things from. Uh, okay, Ray, you're in the video. <laughs> Let's uh, shut down our Discord thing in the back end here. Bye and telegram by control f so are we installing no we're not <laughs> fail to commit transactions uh-huh i he wants to all right remember oh, a year or a half ago or something like that that we had some um, that arc gtk theme suddenly had also open box um support so we have made a package back then to have a nice oh my god what were the names uh arch left something i suppose oops so we have a, a package that's actually making open box beautiful because arc didn't provide it the thing is what's the package called package is probably called Arca Arch Labs Arc Themes Git, right? Okay, found it. Arch Labs Arc Themes Git. You're out. Now, again, update. Enter, 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 enter. So the keys are in order. This thing should be not blocking. The Arc Theme should not be blocked anymore since they are gone. I just deleted them. So whatever the arc theme is giving us, here he is, from March 30th, this guy was conflicting with something from Arch Labs back in two and a half years ago. And we are, no, we are still in conflict. Fail to commit transactions. So Eric, that was the wrong file minus r arch labs open box themes might be we can actually have a look that's why i love this pack so much but this is an old pack quite old and it doesn't have a search button. There's no search button. There's no left 
choice for repositories and all that. It's an old, very old BAMAC AOR. So, Eric, you should know. Out of your head. Open box arc git. That's it. That has to be it. Open box arc git. You're out. That is the one blocking. I hope. Update. Enter, 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 enter. And we're off again. Our next trial. We're past the key ring, so that's okay. He still he now knows that package is from that person and it's confirmed. A key check. Please. Please be it. What else could it have been? Nothing else. All right. Okay. All right, all right. So we are moving along. Back to the fading and the sheening and all the stuff. Uh, that was, did I close it? I guess so. Compton, open. So fading is false, right? So we, it's still on, the fading is still on, obviously. I was thinking then, can I restart Compton in this? Config, control find, Compton. Okay, next, execute always, uh, find, next, next. Okay, there seems not to be a way to boot it, to reload it. Um, that's still installing, that's good. That's good, that's very good. Scripts. I3 exit, we have that. So you will recognize some of the things because, well, frankly, these are my I3 files that have moved along from, and that may be also an interesting thing to say in the video, if you're really into I3, then maybe you'll be even more into I3 because of the fact that I've tried I3 on Antergos, on Arch Linux, on Linux Mint, and Solus and even on, the, on others that I have not documented because it's so super easy. The only thing you need to do is have a super great configuration and all the rest is taken care of, uh, with, um, taken care of by i3 desktop development. So that's what I loved about it, uh, this tiling with the manager. It, I could just move it along from one distro to another, hopping, distro hopping all I wanted, but just um, being able to, to run i3 anyway. So, ah, uh, that's done already. Um, right, let's quickly scroll up. I see here some references to Perl, but we've seen that before. And so that's not an issue per se. Don't see any errors anywhere. Upgrading. Uh -huh. Some warnings because of the new the new slim so a slim comes with a configuration and Arch Linux and Arch Labs have their own slim uh, configuration this was indeed an issue at some point in time um, the developer changed the file system folder so I'm from 755 to 750 remember the first the one is user groups and others so seven is um, user, five is group, and, and five, the last five is others. Remember the, the name, the person, Hugo, with an H, Hugo, and then scrap the H, and you still have the permissions. So the last reference says, okay, you can't do anything, really. Because the seven stands for read, write, and execute, and it's binary. So read is four, write is two, and execute is one, four, two, one, seven, all right? So that's how it works. Google it to know more Linux permissions and uh, you go. All right, so that's that's okay. We, we know 
no issue for our system it will boot okay so all the elements that get that have in etc have configuration files they get this uh, conf new name behind it like this guy conf pack new so nobody takes a look at it but it's basically yeah the, the newest configuration for that particular application but you'll see that everything still works what i do from time to time is compare the new one with what we have as you what changed and add it to our list or not okay so the reboot right let's have a look we are still rolling i hope that's the point people always say arch linux it's not stable blah 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 no i'm gonna prove you it is stable we have systems that have been working for eight months. We just keep rolling, it just works. This is something from two years and a half back. Voila, there you see, it's working. Control T, this is Arch rolling. It's Arch Labs R2T2. Um, can we actually last, what would it provide? Just the reboot of these days, okay. So, what else can we do? What else can we do? If we want to move, basically guys, we have a working system. We don't have to do anything. Eh? Film can end here. We don't have to do anything. It's up to date. The system is up to date. Sudo pacman minus s y y u. The system is working. All right, Packer. Hmm, Packer is not working. That's something we can do. Let's see if Packer actually works. Packer, yay. So, <laughs> this is of course quite funny. Why am I laughing? I'm gonna install Ye and then I'm gonna kill off. Ooh, not that one, not that one. There is one called Ye and then it's going to install 500 megabytes of Go. 500 megabytes of Go. No. There is also a Ye bin number three. That's gonna be much better. So, that's faster to install, and I don't need to do so much. Sorry, okay, downloading. Don't want to see the package built, that's why I said sorry. And then, that's installed. So, yay is installed. With yay, I can install Trizen. So, if yay bails out and doesn't work, I have Trizen. I always want to be able to work. All right, Trizen is installed after this so i have my two systems i can say trizen spotify install me that thing up oh, that works so packer can go sudo pacman minus s packer it's a version of 2016 i think that's old enough so Ye in Trizen is in constant developing and development and that's why of course we choose those. Is Yahoot installed? Oh yeah. Yahoot is also quite old, sudo pacman minus art Yahoot. And 1.8.1, I don't know the date, but it's definitely old. So that can go as well. There was also a support package for it. Uh, memory there is something that um, if you want to uh, install your hood you need something else and I don't don't know it anymore maybe I'll figure it out later but it's okay so your hood is gone there's just one package that could have been deleted as well so one file on there doesn't matter all right how about an update of 
all AOR packages. I wonder what will happen, all right? So we do an uh, PKSYUA, PKSYUA, that's what we do, but of course, command not found. So basically, we go back to here and we're gonna have a look. How do I know how I'm, I'm missing a lot of alias, right? Article Linux, GitHub. My aliases are in my bash RC. My bash RC is somewhere in the package and it's located in the root. So Article Linux root is maybe the package to go for, right? So the bash RC latest, it says here, and then control find PKS YUA. There you have it. This is a thing I need to remember, right? It's the same kind of, um, um, how do you say that format as uh, Pacman. So minus S Y U. Control F. So there's always, I just wanted to pop that in because there's always an encyclopedia out there. There's GitHub, it's, it's, it's there, it's online. You check it out. Yay, minus S Y U I. Let's do this one. Again, one Y more. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> ah, here it is. Package query is the, the other guy that needs to go. If you don't have your Yahoo, you don't need that one. I'm not gonna install, okay. <laughs> Ctrl Alt T. What I do not want to waste time and bytes and installation time and CPU power with are the packages. sudo pacman minus R. Package query needs to go because of the fact that Yahoo needs it. You know, it is out, that's out. Um, Umox is a big mm -mm in the uh -uh, so that's out as well. Polybar kit, oh, seems I have Polybar kit. That is strange. Totally forgot about that, that we had a Polybar kit. That's probably for open box because this is not this is tin 2 so this is not polybar but we had it installed hmm. forgot about that sad icons go to 9.72 that's correct speed touch hmm i believe we don't need that speed touch can go vivaldi and all that okay web kit web wpa action was also not equal required I think a few months back that we need it do not need it anymore it's orphaned or something I believe it's in our stay rolling scripts in your dot bin that's where it is okay not wasting any time with those already I think the blues firmware was also I think it was that can go as well and everything will still work just fine go be gone all right Control c do it again and those guys can be updated so now since we have updated arch labs and um, uh, um yeah arch linux now we're going to update all the AOR stuff. So you see all the AOR elements, checking if I need to have something. Not sure what this was again, or that one. All right, lots of things have changed. All right, go ahead, my friend. Okay, so let's have some fun while this is asking always my help here. Okay, I hope it's now installing. Right mouse click. I was just wanted, was thinking um, I would like to have another wallpaper. Okay, so choose wallpaper. Mm -hmm. There are wallpapers you're probably gonna recognize, like this one. So I like this one, I like this one as well. So they're still in uh, Arco Linux, obviously. Why would I get rid of it? Because I like them. 
and here is our nano apply two years and a half back this is an arch let's have a look this is nostalgia right maybe something else like these guys nostalgia arch labs and that one maybe uh-huh not my favorites the golden one is still really my favorite or the silver one why not the silver one is also nice this one was really awesome but i want another wallpaper please hmm. minimalistic but nice so how is he doing he's downloading everything we also had the Conky Zen back then, but I don't think it's called Conky Zen yet. Conky, Conky Chooser. And then we had, oops, probably something we need to fix. Another, an update that we should maybe first reboot because we have not rebooted yet, right? We can restart, reconfigure, conky, reload conkeys. Oh, there he is again. Oh, we're just updating yay. <laughs> and the site where we're updating yay. And it requires a little bit, right? Yay. So, conky chooser. Uh, still updates necessary, I suppose. Damn it. Reload. Up, oh, and it's back. All right, for later. Our USB image writer is still working splendidly. Thank you, Mintstick, for developing it. Or Mint Team for developing it. LCMS, all oh, right. That seems like ages ago. LCMS. Ultra OT, LCMS. Whoop, what happened? Oh, I'm in an open box, but doesn't really matter actually. <laughs> Just completely forgot this was. No, it's not an, uh, a name. Let me take a look at this little device. What they're telling me. Ah, here is Yat. Downloading Yat, right? Downgrades. We're here. Let's just wait. Everything actually is installed. No, no, never. Symbolic. No space left on the device. Oh my God! So we can't update. Basically. Our system that we've um, chosen on VirtualBox is just not possible to, to install anything anymore. It's full. Let's have a look. It's full. Free space, zero bytes. And what could we get rid of? What could we get rid of to have some more bytes to continue our little game here? Mm. Can we have a look at this? No, everything is, is hanging because of the fact that we don't have any space left. Okay, Control T, pseudo Pacman minus R. Is LibreOffice installed? Yeah, you're out. That's one of the big guys. Voila, there you are. No more. So, normally we should have already a little bit of space. Is Vivaldi installed in those days? Yep, it's installed. I can actually kill that one as well. Minus R Vivaldi. Snapshot was installed. Look at that. Some more space. Uh, Gimp and all that. Don't need it in the video. 
minus R, game can go, Inkscape can go, all good. Melt, I do need melt, it's not also one of the biggest guys. Let's see if I can see it actually, what's big and what's not. So let's see, that's that, that's that. I can't open this thing up, it seems. So that's the Pamac. But I have some place now. Ah, he's gone, Pamac. So, yay, Pamac, here you are. Kinda need, need a new version. So I'm gonna get a new version. We have some space, I hope. What else is there for room? Don't think the wallpaper is that much space. But I'll soon know, I hope, with PAMAC AOR. I hope I can select quit. And then, is it in here somewhere? Updater or something, uh -huh. system settings maybe, PAMAC updater manager, okay, uh -huh. that's better right, repositories, okay, where are the Arch Labs repositories, it doesn't get it, because it's not in, mm -hmm. what's installed? That's installed, sort by relevance, sort by size. Uh, Linux firmware, that's a lot, but I kind of want to keep that. <laughs> Remove, that's okay. Remove this one. Temps is also not important. That's an, uh, the wallpaper is a little bit big, but I like wallpaper, so keeping that one. Surfing icons, we can get rid of you. Remove. And VLC, I'm not gonna watch a video now. Apply. We'll have some space to continue our little story. How much space did this give me? Super shift return. Yep, works. 1.3 gigabytes is now available on a machine off. Off a machine off. Gnome disks all right 12 gigabytes 2 gigabytes free okay a lot of swap so and this this point in time in, in this uh Ju july uh, 2019 i believe already a month or two ago we are able to install without any swap partition so this is a big swap partition, of course needed since I have 8 gigabytes of memory. So to be able to hibernate, you need to have at least more than your RAM. So, but I'm not going to use it. I'm not using it. Um, don't think we can see it. Here we see it. Zero bytes. Not using it at all, but it's gone. I have 9 gigabytes gone. Hmm. I was thinking something. How about making this smaller? There's another how, uh, what if, eh? another what if, but that's for some time later. I'm looking at the, the counter here. We're one hour in the video, We're just having fun. So my point is clear, right? This is still Arch Linux. It's a nice system, it's working, it's something that was uh, two years back or, or more than two years back uh, developed and this one is from June or July 2017, so we're basically at, at uh, two years old ISO and um, it still works, right? It's all fine. Now. Uh, the shading thing let's uh, take a look at the shading thing so if we log out uh, the fading i mean i3 and we have a look back i set it from true to false 
So control shift like this and control T, stuff like that. So there's no fading anymore. This will, there is still this, this nice design. And when you move over something, focus something that is black or grayish, that's true. But super shift Q is just close, 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 faster than the diff other difference. If we just put, put it, put it back on and in config, we go to pop, 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 um, I3. Where are you? Here he is. I3 content conf is a number two. <laughs> False is back to true. Save it. Stop it. Reboot it, log out it, restart it, and you'll see again this this fading and sliding and fa uh, fading uh, effect, which is okay. It's just one change. You want to have a fading i3, just say fading true, and some parameters you can tweak it. So another what if. Let's stay in i3, right? Well, if we would like to move now to, or let's have a look at the car the kernel. Well, latest kernel, right? Up to date. What if we want to go to the fact that all the Arch Linux repos are not in here? Let's have a look what is in here. File system, etc, pacman.conf. All right, that's that one. It's gonna open number two. Hold packages. Oh, look at that. All right, hold packages. Ignore all oh, this normal. It's true, but this this thing I was I thought it was this ignore package. No, we have this I love candy. So that's this little Pac-Man comes along, and here we are having the problems. Right, so Arch Labs repo. If I set this to, 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 to activate, well, it will of course not work. It will not work. No, it will not work because they've changed uh, the repo. I suppose I'm pretty sure. I don't know, <laughs> but we want to have the possibility. Oops. Permission denied. Oh, always the same with these genie things. So open it with sublime text. Yes, a new Sublime Text version. Please install it. I don't want to see your messages all the time. So, yay, Sublime. That's enough. Let's have a look. Sublime Text Dev. This one is installed. Number two. Okay, number two. Install it. I don't want to see any messages anymore. Then, we would like to have another repo here so this guy needs to go and when i do save it's not gonna ask maybe to the installation let's see okay that's installed get away open it back up still waiting if it can do it might be something else and there's a change log fine don't want to see it anymore and then ah, it is saved even though we get this strange little thing or not no it's still a light up here so it's not saved i can see this when we open it with right mouse click open terminal here um let's do a uh, sudo we could try sublime 3 we could do that and type in the conf see what happens is there a typo my friends Oh, it's always starting on, on this workspace too. Eh? I'm just not used to it anymore. Okay, fine. Workspace to it is. So this guy needs to go. Control, save. Can I save? Yes, I just saved it. There is nothing anymore. One proof. Get proof. Closed. Open it up again. Go to workspace too. 
yeah, it works. Fine. Let's go and get our Oracle Linux repos. Super shift, not super shift. Firefox is still there. I deleted Vivaldi. So I'm going to get this one. Uh, why not restore? Okay, good. And then we need to have our refresh. We need to have our. Um, it's not showing anything. This works. Side visited. It loads. So 94 distros that I visited already to make icons for. So why is GitHub not working? What the hell? Google is broken. I broke Google. <laughs> Can't be it. Anyway, um, I have a lot of solutions. Yep, let's be inventive. Let's go first to a particular place. Oh yeah, when I go to two and R, it always goes. It opens up here. Let's do Control H. Ooh, Control. Oh, where am I, Eric? Like this. Let's get in here. Open a terminal and show you what I always do in Arch Linux D videos. Git clone. What do you git clone from GitHub? Come, go to Atlantic D. You decide what you want to install. Well, this is um, i3, so I could get i3 or I could get Openbox. Doesn't really matter because what I want from it is this here. This is your help when you go to phase five. You say, forget about Arch Linux, forget about it. I know so much about Arch Linux that I'm going to go for an Arch Linux vanilla installation with the guide that's online on Arch Linux D. But if you want to later on add spices to it and say, okay, I want the repos of Arch Linux because of the conky or because of this or that or that, then you need to go do this thing, all right? You need to launch any of, some of these or not all of these, depends. I need to do this guy because of the fact that I'm living in Belgium and I have a internet service provider and the way things work okay so i need to run add key service for key importing because the fact is otherwise number 20 trust key will not work so i need to do all of these things but that's a bit you have you have to see for yourself uh, if that's the thing you need to do but at some point in time, I want to add Arch Linux repo to Pacman. So that's what we were trying to do here. We need to get rid of, in the case of Antergos, the Antergos repos, in the case of uh, uh, Arch Labs, the Arch Labs repos, and we need to move our head to another direction. So, okay, you'll not download packages from here, but now we are going to download them from there. That's basically what we're telling the system to do turn its head in the other direction. If the keys all come in, and I see Ike the folder in here already, maybe a name you, a name you know, and uh, probably other names that you recognize here. Anyway, we still have to wait. It's, it, sometimes it's super fast, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. You just wait till it ends. It's not broken. It's just gathering information. Uh, 3,921 new signature is quite a lot. All right, so done. We're going to add Arch Linux to the repo. Enter. And it's going to test it already. He's showing you everything. He says, here's the Arch Linux repo, the third party, Submicron, it's all there. And it says, hey, we have a new server on Seathost, right? And it's going to change the mirror list here. So that's good as well. We're already okay. But nevertheless, what happened in the backend? The backend, this happened. He added these lines. These lines were now added. One space, one space, save, that's it. This is 
our new pacman.conf. This is pointing our distribution of our Arch Labs in a direction of Arch Linux. Okay? So let's super shift Q. You're out. When I do a control alt T and I do an update, you'll see something very similar to Arch Linux. And there seem already to be updates. Yay, bin local is newer than Arch Linux repo third party. Okay, remind me to make an update. And there are Sardi icons uh, to be updated. Fine, let's do that already. System up to date. Now, the PKS YUA, ah, come on, not found. Pfft, no fun. So, where is this package? You saw already what it was in the video. Arc Linux wrote something about root, right? Now, maybe this is a good time. We can install it already. And we see some problems. So, Arch Labs had already files in a particular place Whew. and if my memory is correct I don't think it was a package back then it were just the files written in that place in etc scale there is no package management I think at that point in time for those files later of course I became smart and said oh no we have to put that in packages right but let's have a look anyway because I might I don't, don't recall what I did two years ago. So Arch Labs, we could get rid of everything Arch Labs, right? But that sounds a little bit harsh. But of course there will be conflicts if we don't. Arch Labs wallpapers won't have a conflict. Arch Labs wallpapers 4K won't have a conflict. Arch Labs Thin 2 already. Arch Labs Slimlock, yes. Arch Labs Rofi themes, mm, yes. Arch Labs Plank themes, probably yeah so yes there will be things that we need to get rid of so like I said this particular thing I don't think it's in a package at all so control C Eric we can have a look we can have a look everything is in the back end here go and have a look in the hard disk where I have stashed it all all the things I've done all the work I did everything is stashed and documented all the github polls and the numbers now the things here the, is it here here it is uh, let's take just one arch iso a root etc scale control h haha <laughs> there they are so it was never in a package at all, but this is the for version 4. So basically I should go to 5, Arch ISO, AR root, ETC, scale, and bingo. So these elements were never in a package. And if it's not in a package, then Pacman says, I don't know them. Right? It's like uh, the expression my, my students say, duh. So for me on my system back to here control F it means I should go to etc scale because whatever is in here is always going to conflict with stuff from Arch Linux so ls minus al this is all in here so sudo remove everything that's in here and I would like to go recursively because there is a folder dot config and dot local also inside those folders. I want you to delete everything. Okay. Cannot remove. Mm. Okay. What do we have already? Is it already? A little bit cleaned out. Okay, that's okay. CD LS CD scale and LS and LS minus AL. It's clean. Okay, it's clean. So now I can actually start thinking about installing stuff 
that's going inside ETC scale. There's no conflict of interest, no nothing LS, LS minus L. And here are my bash RC latest things. Okay. Now we have this command scale, command not found. Obviously, since we do not have the bash RC latest yet. So we can do it via command, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to just do what we did in the past. So my icons are broken, I see. Doesn't matter. Control um, file system. And later, Control H. Scale. Control H. Getting everything in here. Control C. Go into Eric. Control V. Replace all. So we have here the bash RC latest and this guy and that guy should be the same. Do we have already melt? Compare. There you go. So this is the one from Arch Labs to the left. And SL and LS, SL was actually a fun application. So we deleted those, that guy. That's a locomotive or thing uh, out of my head. So this guy has to go. Update, out page, remember, I always type it in videos. Old commands, you see. I actually forgot about that command. That alias, it's not really a command, it's an alias. So there we are, editor nano. I think he knows that already. That can go as well. And we have here bash rc latest, save. With a, let's do a quit here, super shift Q. Since my icons are bad, since my icons are bad, I don't think it's set here, is it? That's a Sardi mono color. Let's go to Sardi arc. Close. It's not gonna work here. So what was it again? The other application, Super Shift D. If you don't recall, like I do now, Alt F3, and there you have it. Here, everything, but I'm afraid that's not in here either. Is it? Is this guy? Appearance, Windows theme, buns and dark. Where are the icons? Damn it. Close. Memory. Work. Let's look out. So now the logos, the, the conkeys, like the icons are there. Okay. Oh my god. What application is it again? I want to know. What are, is the application again? Alex Appearance, that's the name. Oh my God, Alex Appearance. That's the way where we set an icon theme, side the arc, close, and then log out back to i3 to see if it works. And let's stay there. What? And why is he doing this thing? That's strange. Um. Did I change this thing? Our dark Sardi arc. Breeze snow. It's not doing breeze snow either. So that's that. Config GTK3. What's in here? That is strange, right? Oh, I always forget to go to two. Uh huh. All right. My 
my god, insert save quit. All right. Quit is not quiet, Eric. Um, yeah, it was right. Montonar or is it double dash? Double dash. Or just a Q. GTK contained error. Hmm. Well, I'll make sure we'll get a nice um, arc teams from Nico. That's the name. That's the new one. Horse 3180 is the other one. So that's the arc teams from Nico that's coming in. I wonder what you see this now. Maybe we should still do something. Reboot or something like that. Um, minus S R study and surf. No. <laughs> becomes red here. Uh, true. We're starting to get close. Anyway, my icons are fixed. So I'm gonna get rid of surfing. It is a little bit. And on the pseudo pacman, that's something I can do as well. Pseudo pacman minus SCC. So what I'm doing is cleaning my cache. So let's have a look. File system. Oh, where was it again? Was it in var? Cache? Pacman? Oh my god, I found it. So it contains nearly one um, gigabyte. Clicking this. Yes, yes. And there you go. That's cleaned, which means I get more space. 2.2 gigabytes. That's also something you can do if you're running out of space, like I just did, almost. So, we're getting closer, much closer. Um, there's, of course, a lot and a lot and a lot. Where is my icon of things to install? In the Arc Linux repo, we have lots of things in here. Arc Linux Arc Themes is just installed this guy. The mirror list is installed. This is installed. This still looks kind of off. Bam, like AOR. This still looks kind of different. I believe there was an uh, update. But it looks like and here's the cache, we just deleted the cache, so zero files. Anyway, let's assume that it's okay. So we have things we can install, that we can need, might need, and it's a button we have here now. Or is it sorted, is that the thing? No. A little bit different. Updates, installed. And all. Anyway, so Yebin is here. We can install that one. Ink C, Sublime Text is here. Sally Icons are here. Dropbox are here. Discord is here. Um, HBlock and Spotify is here. And these are just the wallpapers, so that's not important for the working, for the what if in my head. That's not important. But a lot of things can still be figured out and done. But I am wondering, still wondering why SuperX logout, 
why this Pamek EOR looks this different. So because of theming, can't all, can't imagine that is because of the theming that that's so different. Might be, might be. So I want to know, I want to learn in this video. Why am I doing these videos? Because I want to learn myself. I'm not a master, but I am a teacher. That's for one. But I would like to um, know things. Arc. That's arc, and that's let's go just for a simple arc dark. So no changes in colors. Arc dark. The windows border is ugly, but not if we go to arc blood dark which is just the same i mean any of these guys is the same the border is always the same doesn't really matter but obviously arc dark is what you wanted breeze snow is what i want and so the arc is good color widget arc dark okay fine so does that change my application that one Why is it so different? Restart, my friends. While it's restarting, what do we have? We have this look. Oh my God, don't tell me they've changed it just at this video, this point in time, did they? It's not an improvement. Where is the option to click on it? Oh my God, they just changed it. Can we change that back? And that's how changes affect you. And that's that. The time that we could click here, say click, 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 is no longer possible. Is it? don't know guys if that's an improvement it was faster to just click 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 instead of clicking remove or install okay that's life Control f so we'll have to live with it article linux repo we have this one installed Arch Linux applications that's for XFCE awesome bin bin we can install ah it's a click away oh that's good one click and it stays on okay I'm not weeping yet <laughs> install you right so the look is different there's no buttons up here no buttons down there mm-hmm and 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 what else let's install conkeys this is going to conflict i think with arch labs all right we are doing things the wrong way control alt t sudo backman minus remove arch labs we need to remove stuff Otherwise, we'll never get to where we want and the video will become too long as well. Um, could we actually make, or probably not. Can we do here something that's faster than typing all this stuff? Arch labs, move, remove, remove. 
remove, 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 remove. Let's now check what I clicked. Apply. Yay, bin. Yeah, I know. I'll do it later. I hope this will not conflict them. That is first going to remove and then install. Otherwise, there will be a conflict. And he does. Everything works. So, let's try to go along with the flow. Updates. There are new. There's a new Pamac AOR thinking. There's a button down here. Remove. 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 Mirrorless root install. Uh, XFCE. So no, this is open box. Also common. Common. We need common. Install common. No. Nemesis Plasma, Excel Moparks, Monad, Arclanex Docs, Faces is XFC, Fonts is always good, Genie is good, Group Theme Vimix, yeah. Group Customizer should be installed. We could get our own Arclanex i3WM, so forget about the Arch Labs of two years ago. The keyring is. I thought installed, but it's not, so now it is installed later. Um, the quantum is also good. Light DM, this is gonna conflict. I think this is gonna conflict, so I'm gonna leave it out. Local, yeah, will not conflict. Logos will not conflict. Nitrogen, nope. And Obelog out might conflict as well. So leaving it out. Open box config. So forgetting about the Arch Labs config, get on our own config with the OB menu generator. Um, well, one of them. So either this one, which is long, a full menu, and this is the minimal menu. So either one, you can't install two because it's the same file, same place, conflict. Open box themes, fine. Pipe menu, sure. Plank. I haven't seen Plank around. Ctrl T. Did we have Plank those days? Yes, we had Plank. Where is it popping up? Uh, nowhere. Up here, down there, somewhere. No Plank. Ah, there's my Plank. Okay, so it was down there. Plank can be installed. Themes as well. Qt5 git, of course. Qtile, nope. Rofi, yes, will conflict, might conflict. Rofi themes might conflict. So I'm gonna leave those out. XFCE stuff, maybe. Maybe, yes. Gonna need it. Variety, I love it. Arclinks team 2 will conflict, probably. Have we? Let's try this one. We'll have time to install more. Yes, I know. Apply, apply, and finished. That's quick. Damn, that's quick. Okay, remove, remove, remove. So. Let's go and try to install the conflicting stuff. That might be a conflict. This one. Is that a conflict? Yep, there we go. So that's uh, definitely conflict. But let's let's um, let's see how far we got already. So, super shift return that works. File system. We have an etc. We have a scal, and in the scal, let's move scal to where we want to have it. So this is already installed to stay rolling. 
all the scripts and all the fun strips scripts are here the Arcanix low is here auto start catfish is here nitrogen nomax all the stuff is here but it's not on my system right so as when i do a scale let's see if that works when i do a scale everything is uh, copy paste it over we have a backup scale as well and we have pks y way so yes bash rc is definitely present right well we don't have place we're not going to install AOR. We don't have the place for it. 2.3 gigabytes. So that's a good thing, right? We're already moving along. Splendidly. Now, when I log out, control super X, <gasps> my logo, my icons are broken. So this is the look now. Fine. That means, let me think. Control Alt T, sudo pacman minus R. What do we have? We have Lightium and Lightium, right? Okay. So that's installed. What I'm gonna do is install Arco Linux light dm gtk greeter and arcan linux light dm gtk greeter settings fine uh, that's my password then he's going to say there is already a lot of things in there then i'm gonna say pseudo pacman remove it not that one, that one is okay. Not that one, Eric, that's okay. But this one needs to go, frankly. And he doesn't like that, so we have to do them both because they're connected via the package build. So you're out and you're in. So those are the Arch Linux stuff that's coming in. So am I now good? Am I now good? I've changed the packages, but the application is still here in lightdm in the lightdm.conf. Ugly look. Go to Perl, make it bigger, scroll down. It's going for user session i3. Outer left session open box. Eric as starter. So, I wonder how he will greet me. That's what I'm looking for. Which I don't see at this point. So, never mind. I want to know anyway. And why is this looking so bad? So, OB logout is something we should have a look at. Uh huh. That's not that bad because we have a logo. The only thing I'm missing my wallpaper why is my wallpaper not there probably pseudo pacman minus s article linux wallpapers do not find it important of course but if you want to test out when you log out then you should have of course the wallpaper so light dm is fixed. Obi logout is not fixed. Sudo control T sudo pacman minus remove. What's still there? Obi logout is here. So I'm gonna delete you. And I'm gonna get my own Arco Linux out that's our version of open logout super x all right not nice at all what is happening in etc will log out okay that's the good one that's what it needs to say and we're going to use this guy start the open logout 
All right, so let's do a restart. Interesting, right? It's, it's a lot of things that fit like puzzles, like pieces of a puzzle inside it. And we even have quite a good look. And well, <laughs> it does say Arch Linux up here, but frankly, kind of looks like all right Arco Linux it is let's be let's be let's be naughty let's be super naughty um, all we need to do <laughs> is go to the file manager etc LSB release go in there and you say Arco Linux release i don't know version 19.07 or something right description this takes guys write something oh yeah there we go again so we should check that out why that is it's annoying to say the least it is annoying so Sublime 3 LSB release Control A Control V Save Reload and yep, that's it. Control T. We have already the name Arclinux in here and the logo. The logo is there because of the sudo pacman minus s Arco Linux NeoFetch kit. It was not installed, is now installed. Copy it over, Ctrl T, and thinking, thinking, thinking. Why is this still that logo? Why is this still that logo? Because we have control H and configuration and NeoFetch. And inside NeoFetch we have Arch Labs. Poof, that's gone. And still wondering why it doesn't take. There was also, yeah, we did also a NeoFetch in here. We had a new fetch here and we have that one as well there so right mouse click up and then sudo remove this 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 folder new fetch okay so that guy is gone Control t woohoo we have something all right and here it says something cd etc neo fetch no such file or directory so he wants to go to a directory and there's no directory i'll make you a nice beautiful directory nah done are you happy Control t no error anymore now there's still something else that we are missing which I don't like sudo pacman minus s I'm gonna fix that first Arco Linux the termite settings right termite teams that's that which gives us to a scale which means I need to update and that's more like it that's already Compton is broken it seems it's not transparent anymore up oh, log out I uh, still need to fix that the icons there. Okay, well, I'm jumping from here to here, there. There's no real educational uh, plan here. I'm just jumping from element to element. What I see. So Compton is not working at this point in time. That's for one thing already. But uh, we're changing this name. This name is changed which means control F let's have a peek at the real thing 
So this is how it should look at the, in the end. And we have this, this logo there, which means I'd like to know what actually I write then in here. So code name might be it. Code name. Let's put you here so I can type it over. So let's go and see if that's the thing that it needs. So NeoFetch is looking for a name in a file. And what I'm just figuring out is this the name or not. So we can go up, 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 up. That's the one. And LSB release version 1.4, distribution ID, article Linux. Uh, it's the same. And yes, it's 0.1 basically. And then this one, distribution underscore code name equals Apple Linux. Is that the folder, the, the, the parameter it requires? Might be. Might be, might be, might be, might be. Nope, it's not, it's not, it's not. So what could it be? What could it be? We have in the config, NeoFetch. We have this. Is this our thing? Is this our thing? Yes, no. Let's have a look. Don't recognize anything. It's not our thing. Is it? It's not our thing. This is my thing. Yeah, that's it. Basically, this guy needs to be deleted. Haha, <laughs> figured it out. So that's NeoFetch already. Why, why is he still doing this? Why are you still showing this ugly thing? Hmm. That's not so simple. That's the logo. So he still doesn't know. NeoFetch does not know. I have a new NeoFetch, I hope. Near fetch git. Yes, please. Huh. Look at that. So I had didn't have a new. Well, I thought I had a git version. I think. Anyway, I changed versions. Okay, I have a new fetch version, which is working just fine now the compton thing the compton thing so compton has changed so many times and yes yes i remember why it became um at some point not transparent anymore on virtual hey why is this looking so ugly preferences ah, it's not zooming strange zoom zoom no zooming, I hate when it doesn't zoom. Um, so Compton, Compton is an open box situated in here. And the Compton is okay if you are on a virtual box. This breaks transparency and put a hashtag before next line to fix that. So if you wanna, if you wanna stay on virtual box, then you want transparency, you do this thing, control, save. And there is actually a menu to reset, to reload the compositor. So enable compositing. Let's see. So that's transparent. The conkey is not really showing transparency. Not really. Um, that's a new wallpaper and another wallpaper variety is kicking in. 
but Compton is not really applied here might be the conky itself it's possible as well so conky zen we haven't tried that if that works still broken it seems conky zen hmm conky zen broken well whoops where is conky zen I don't have a conky zen uh wait 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 am conky zen okay right uh-huh so it wants to in install it wants to do something here so yay yet what do we have it's installed it's version 2 he wants to install something lip enchant never heard about it yay yay lip enchant all right good 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 all right let's try to find this thing um let's forget about the lip and go for the enchant it seems i have it already all right so I wonder rebuilding yet again what else can it be the pipe menus have been installed so that's that am conky zen command not found uh -huh. all right the fonts have been installed so that should be fine oh the fonts are not installed so sudo pack man minus s Linux fonts oh yeah no i know why my this conky well i've made ch changes to the conkeys and it's this thing i want to have is still in the testing repo so we have not the testing repo in the fonts or in already but the uh, conky itself is not in that's still in the testing let's take something similar something recognizable uh, uh colloquials right the top and acres okay there you go uh -huh. still need to do something about this uh this is also strange there's also font probably still have to do something about this compton right we did change the codes yeah we did right checking again we have compton 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 in here that's open box Compton and we did the face sync is true so I'm gonna oh we need still need to do that one as well okay let's do that one as well aha 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 so we're having transparency just a matter of log out login these fonts are not particularly interesting but and then the easiest way I was thinking about the easiest way right is to get the fonts in 700 installing the fonts those are the fonts we use and yes there is another one Android is new and we failed to commit something because there is already something in here so sudo pattern minus remove what should i remove ttf droid font is out 
and my script is in. Voila, in Cancellata, Liberation, so Ubuntu as well, Tamsin as well, and some stuff that's wrong. Cache, font config invalid cache file. So we have this um, special kind of folder on your system, which is called a cache with this guy. Gives us some issues sometimes because it has some leftovers from, from the builds, from Yay for instance as well, lots of builds in here. It doesn't really um, matter since it's it's cached thing, so normally it should be go empty, which it often does not. But if you have issues with something like this, you just say oh, delete, like yeah, you want to rebuild it, Vivaldi snapshot, whatever things you say, okay, I want to get rid of it, it's cache. All right, so next time you load it up, and let's do a next time, let's first fix OB logout. You will see that the cache is, is still is again probably there. You go is already uh, filled. Trying uh, going to be filled is filled in during the process. So OB logout. So why is this thing not looking awesome? Because 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 the icons I'm referring to is Sardi OB logout. Oh, did I install that? Pseudo Pacman minus s arco linux ob logout themes i thought i installed it i see nope was not installed yep now it's installed so the logos for the logout is done the lock is the lock done the lock is not done this is not our lock definitely not this is still the original lock. So, sudo pacman minus s arc linux locking, 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 slim, 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 and arc linux. We're gonna have an error. Okay, let's get the reader, the error out of the way. Voila. So, that's that. sudo Pacman minus R slim. Slim is installed. We can't break it unless we uninstall that one as well. XFCE slim lock is out. There you go. You're both out now. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Arc Linux slim. And it's Teams. Okay. Installed super l and we have our nice lady with a lock so that's done as well so the lock and the ob logout are done our transparency is done the invalid cache is is cleaned out we should take a look at the conky up there the font is not so nice that's already better but there is something we need a space in between the what is it 10.6 so a home probably a G that's in here a G and a CPU but that's not that bad right it's it's just a conky we need to edit it's just saying edit conkeys running conkeys top and figure out where you put your, your spaces in between somewhere, right? It's just the space that it requires. So it gets a little bit more room for the numbers and letters. 1907.1, Arco Linux, it says it has a logo. Strange, right? How you can just keep working on Arch Linux and, and make it your own. It's, it's Lego. It's nothing more than a complex Lego. So all the pieces fit together. Thinking what I can do next. Thinking what was possibly what I can actually do next. We have here the Arc Linux D version of i3. We probably are not using all our cores, <laughs> right? So we have four. Uh, wait, yeah, four cores for the machine, voila. 
M4 course for um, well, guest and host, you know, the drill with VirtualBox. So now it's the compiling goes quicker. Four cores will be used. Uh, sound, we just broke probably something with our sound FM pech. You remember all in the beginning, video is already two hours. Oh my God, but I'm having fun. So things that, that might be not installed. Let's see, Pacman minus S F M Pech was just one of them. What do we have? That's it. Uh, it is installed anyway, net upgrade. So whatever I did, FMPEG is there. And there was also the X264, I guess. X26, and then let's have a look. We have 264 and 265. Is it an issue to have both of them? Then I have both of them, okay. And of course, you should just test it out if anything is not working. Bluetooth can be installed, printers can be installed. Do I have Samba installed? I often do this to know if I have it installed. Hello. If I can remove it, it's installed. Samba is not installed. All right, so that's that's a way to quickly have a glance what's installed. Network discovery, mm -hmm. some software that we're probably missing. And this is of course, if you do not know what to install on um, OpenBox, then probably you should get, because this is OpenBox, then you should say, let's get do the same exercise for OpenBox. So git clone out uh -huh, github.com. Oops, com Arco Linux D, all the scripts, Arco, open box. And it's figured out for you. It's written down, black and white, what you need for Arco Linux. You need the applications for open box. We installed that guy. We did not install the applications because it's more, more kind of XFCE thing, but I probably have a reason for it. Right? So basically, this is. This is thought through, so we could have just say, okay, let's not think about it, let's just run 600. So things, let's have a look. So this guy is new, the application is installed, it's going to go to etc scale share applications. Yeah, I know why now. And um, he's skipping all those, those we have installed, um, yeah. And we've chosen for the minimal version, so that's okay. And there's an, a large version, so the menu that we have gone for is not the standard menu. This is a very small menu, and um, that's basically why we see that particular error. And it stops with the error. We can do always open the scripts, say, never mind do not stop when there's an error this means stop if there's an error now i'm telling him not to stop when there's an error so he's gonna skip these two red things and take a look at the other things so what else is going to do is going to install polybar we've decided not to do that that's true qt5 git skipping was up to date rofi yeah rofi completely forgot about it Rofi and Rofi themes, root skipping, slim skipping, skipping, skipping. Uh -huh. That's the thing we fixed today. The error failed to commit transaction. And yeah, okay. So control alt T. Let's go to etc. Uh, where are you? etc x11 xorg wait okay it's, it's correct if we go in here there will be a file and it's called 
99 kill x okay so sudo remove 99 kill x you're out because the package will provide me with the new one spotify is installed dropbox is installed so this error needs to be fixed tin 2 is installed variety is all installed all right let's see if we can skip this error yeah the minimal thing so error is gone and if you don't want to see the other error uh, so this thing works now deleted the file it was probably on the iso not on a package so it can't be maintained when you do it manually because of that and this is because we've chosen to go for the, the smaller one the minimal one so if you want to see it it's like it's done like this minus s Linux. what's the name op menu generator git so that's the big one this means do you want to remove the small one yes i say and he gets the big one in scale and then we're going to log out maybe best super x log out log back in right mouse click is a bit bigger the menu so this is the standard menu that we use and an alt n is going to get me a new wallpaper and alt n is going to get me a new wallpaper now i did do a scale and when you do a scale it's going to break my Compton again because because we are making an Arco Linux not for VirtualBox. We're making it for hardware, for your SSD, for your super fast system, and not for a VirtualBox, which is going to divide its processor time and its uh, memory and all that in two. Never a good idea. Um, am I in the right place? Yes, I wanted to show that control find virtual where are you that's not virtual virtual you just put the vsync through again on save log out let's try not to log out let's see if it works if we just say um, if we just say where are you compositor enable compositing another wallpaper alt n okay nope log out and log in and we have transparency now i do need another wallpaper on it that's okay so you see the text is behind here so the wallpaper at uh, the donkey is indeed transparent are we now finished is this the end of my what if two hours eight minutes do not like the wallpaper all ten uh all ten okay whatever no all ten <laughs> gonna take a while Ooh, why that wallpaper selector let's get this guy in close so this one don't like this one Peak, don't want this one okay for blind fine those are my menus do we have all the preferences in the sense of the theming theming yes we have all the themes present that we like maybe for the black thing like this a white is nicer I can zoom still broken no nope, it's working now oh it's like I can zoom can be a little bigger it's more fun but something like this is also good Fine, am I finished? Do we have an Arch Linux system? Yeah. Do we have an Arch Linux system? Yeah. So basically guys, whatever, um, the thing is you have to think, forget about all these releases and all that. This is a rolling release. This is the evidence that this is a rolling release. You just update change things find pieces of the puzzle change slim lock change the ob logout change the light dm 
all, all parts of the system and then configurations for termite configurations for tin 2 and so on themings icons it's all one big puzzle you lay out the system is provided by Arch Linux right Control alt v it's all arch linux dot org is it that's what we're based on that needs to stay alive if that dies everything dies right everything that's based on arch linux will die as simple as that so this is the guy or the guys um that we are um well very thankful for and, and we support them and we try to maybe update some bugs from time to time if you figure it out and uh, supply some AOR stuff and all that. Um, so take a look at who is who, developers and all that, trusted users. A lot of people work in this um, Arch Linux website. You see a lot of elements and a lot of people. So that's great. We are building upon their shoulders and that's always the same Linux. You know on whose shoulders we're working. It's Linux Torval uh, with the kernel.org everything falls or stays with this this development of the kernel and um, it all well with all the help of all these thousands and thousands and thousands of people we have here a system that just works and it just keeps working it's nice it's fast and even on virtual box i mean it feels very responsive and you know it's half the power that i have it's as simple as that it's it's a virtual simulation it's not the real thing so once you decide to say okay looks good get rid of the virtual box i mean install it on a laptop or install it on a, a desktop and install it on a real real metal like they say and um, you'll see it's it, it will feel even faster so packages i was just looking at the number here 1080 it seems xfc open box now xfc is not installed it could be another what if but it's so simple this what if if you want to have xfc as well on here all you need to do is ctrl h we have git cloned arco i3 arco open box so basically guys just arrow up um, sometimes still you see this thing and i say xfc xfc and then you just get in the pieces of the puzzles and the pieces of the puzzle are here and it says simply you want to install xfc what is how do you install xfc by copy pasting these guys in and then you have xfce let's do it in the video i want to i want to see how it looks so ctrl c ctrl t ctrl shift v up and it's a lot of things but it's not that long it won't take very long it's a lot it looks like a lot of installations a lot of stuff uh, it's not so when i do an arch Linux installation of vanilla uh, most of the time i use these two commands xfc for an xfc for goodies and then you're good to know you know i have a desktop in this amount of time it's done already exit log out and let's have a look if we have a complete Arch Linux ISO with XFC open box and i3, I think that looks like a good way to end. But he says, unable to load a fail safe session, determine the possible causes, xconf is not running, debug setup problem. Okay, my friend, you have all the time to do a real proper reboot and uh, so that everything is launched. There was some desktops you need to really have something as a daemon services running. So shut down. Did you try turning it off and on again? Now it boots like an auto login in open box. It's one of the settings on Arch Labs. A very simple to do it. Just change it in etc. Um, etc. Lightm. Lightm.conf. And there's a file. And say forget about open box. Go to xfce. So XFC is set, uh, let's go to XFC. This is how it looks now. There's one thing we don't have, and that's plank. And normally we have a plank somewhere. Let's just say, hey, there's no plank. That's true. Now plank has the tendency to 
started a startup a little bit later. I have, I am a patient guy, but I do want to, ah, there he is. This is our, our plank. So this is the look that we have. So if you want to start it up, application auto start, add plank, what up command plank. Okay, plank is installed, close, done. We have next time we log out and we log in. Plank will be there, but like I said, it will take its time to load up, but that's okay. It can take its time. Comkizen is present. And blah, 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 let's take something. Uh, oh, I would like to see something from, where is it? Informant, that's the one I would like to see. Oh, Frolly sign, this is a kind of blue thing. Let's go for blue or red maybe, crimson. Crimson, okay. Let's see. Hmm, that goes, looks good with the red from uh, his belly. And there we go. I think we have, uh, I've had some fun. The timing is already after midnight, I see, and my son is still gaming besides me. So we'll be signing off and have fun watching the video. All right, cheers.